Well, hi everyone, I'm Andy Asher. I'm editor of Bloomer Boomer, and my favorite feature here at Double B is the complete bucket list about planning and fulfilling our life dreams, whatever that might be. Now, in fact, I wrote a book called The Complete Bucket List that I share excerpts from here at bloomerboomer.com. So in the spirit of adventure and what might be on someone's bucket list, we are virtually traveling to Hatch, New Mexico to learn about the annual Hatch Chili Festival where every Labor Day weekend, more than 30,000 raving chili fanatics, they, they converge on that tiny town where it becomes the chili capital of the world. And we are doing something a little different. We're gonna learn about this amazing food event from someone who has made a personal transition in life that is pretty amazing in itself. She is Celeste Zimmerman, who now owns and operates a St. Francis de Sales Church. Now, I don't know all the details, but we will find out. But she and her sister have converted this historic place into an event center where you can stay during the Hatch uh, Chili Festival. We're gonna talk with Celeste in just a moment. Well, our guest is Celeste Zimmerman, living near the town of Hatch, New Mexico, and the Hatch Chili Festival, and her venture as owner and steward of the St. Francis de Sales Church. Hey, Celeste, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, I, I have to, uh, I have to admit right, right from the top, uh, something that I want to tell you. I do not do well with hot chili and spices, but I, uh, I'm definitely adventurous to learn. I just haven't yet adjusted and I admire those who can handle it. Now, what's so special about the uh, Hatch Chili to, to make, uh, make it known as the chili capital of the world? Well, around here, we live in what's called the Hatch Valley. And this valley is, uh, is in the Rio Grande Valley. So that river is the lifeblood of everything around here. And so it's really an agricultural community where everything just seems to grow so well. So what's it like there on Labor Day? I mean, how does that place absorb all the, the festival goers? Um, it is very, very busy here. Um, the hatch is about one mile inland from I-25. And so that road, the ramp off of I-25 will be a steady cars, steady line of cars from the interstate all the way through to the, um, through hatch out towards the airport where the festival is actually held is on the air, on an airport facility. And then also there are other roads that are coming from Deming and a back road from Las Cruces. And those are all the roads are jammed and uh, it is a very busy time. But tell us again about uh, about your place, about the St. Francis de Sales Church. I mean, the history there must just be mind boggling. Oh, it is. Um, the, the church was built in 1860. So that is a long time ago and the history is, uh, you know, it's like during the Civil War period and then out west here we had, we understand there were Apaches that, that wanted their land back and so there were big time Apache wars going on. And um, so we have people that stop by almost daily to um, sometimes just out of curiosity, but a lot of time, a lot of times it's to revisit memories of when they were an altar boy here or when they got married here or first communion baptized um they the stories are just so heartwarming so amazing uh we love to hear them we learn as much from these people as they do from us it's it's just story. yeah it's just wonderful well uh as we wind up uh any uh what tips uh, can you share to uh, make a great uh, experience at the uh, uh, Hatch uh, Chili Festival. So you want to plan to spend extra time to go sightsee. I mean, if you come all the way to be here for the, the Chili Festival and uh, you want to see everything else around here, but come hungry and come ready to leave with uh, some bags of chilies and, and some local foods and, uh, and really have a good time. Beautiful. Hey, thanks so much, uh, Celeste. Uh, you, you, it sounds like you got a, a great thing going down there. Oh, we love it here. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, our guest has been Celeste Zimmerman, uh, living near the town of 
Hatch New Mexico and the Hatch Chili Festival and her venture as owner and steward of the St. Francis de Sales Church. So I, I hope you like the show. I hope you learned a thing or two. The full show will be available on YouTube and at Bloomer Boomer. And we have some other shows coming up with some really amazing guests. So please like us on Facebook. Visit us at BloomerBoomer.com. Until next time, so long.